What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick B. Smith here back. Another video reaction by The Voice. Whitney Houston, baby. We're entering Black History Month. So we're going to be doing a lot of videos by Whitney and a lot of other great artists who I definitely feel should be recognized and appreciated. So you might be seeing a lot more from Miss Houston, so look out for that. However, we have circled back to the very first song that got my attention when it came to Whitney Houston. is a song called Greatest Love of All. Now, I know it's a remake. However, this is, again, the introduction to Whitney in my life. So I always have a special moment when it comes to this song and Whitney. So this song in particular um, has been performed many times and I know that I haven't seen every video about Whitney that she's performed. Um, so this one here is from 1992. Looks like it is a tribute to Muhammad Ali. Now I don't know much about what's been taking place with all these different videos circulating but all I know is Whitney is a phenomenal artist and whenever she hits the stage it's just a different thing that you see from her you know you know the voice we know what she can do but that charisma on stage is just another part of her as a performer and I, I live for it so I'm so excited to get into it because this is 1992 1992 is the bodyguard era and we all know that woman voice and that bodyguard era was out of the world out of this world so so excited about that I'm so excited to show new video reactions by Whitney and just to remind people why she who's she who she was and just remember the great things that she's done in music for the world because she's definitely one of the greatest so without further ado this is Whitney Houston performing her version of greatest love of all live 1992 tribute to Muhammad Ali like comment and subscribe and I will see you on the other side You know, when I was born, Muhammad Ali was already the heavyweight champion. So, <laughs> so I never knew a world without Muhammad Ali. Then when I was just a young teenager, I went to the theater and saw a movie called The Greatest. It was about the life of Muhammad Ali. I thought you were the most marvelous man I'd ever seen. And in that movie, there was a song. The song was as inspirational as you are. I loved the song as I loved Muhammad Ali. And a few years later, I had the opportunity to record it. I've sung it many times in many places to many people. But this is the first time I've had the opportunity to sing it to the greatest, one of the greatest men of all. I love you. I believe the children are our future. We gotta teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all that beauty they possess. Inside Give them A sense Give them a sense of to 
be Everybody's searching for you People need someone to look up to I've never found anyone Who fulfilled my needs It's a lonely, lonely place to be But I learned to
The way she took me on that journey with that voice. Oh, first of all. So now everything makes sense. I do remember that song being recorded by George Benson, correct? For the movie The Greatest. I remember hearing that before and so it was perfect. And I love the comment Whitney had said, you know, when she was born, you know, you know, Muhammad Ali was known as the champion and that's how I feel about Whitney. When I was born in 85, when she first came out, she was already known as this huge uh, superstar. So it's kind of the same thing for me for her but the woman came out i love again her charisma when she talks and jokes around muhammad ali that was really funny and cute but she looks so beautiful didn't she glowing glowing but whitney's voice though it's a remake of a song i've always believed the word she said as it was her song because the way she delivers it the emotions in that song how it starts off very light, you know, she's kind of talking to you about something and teaching you things and inspiring you with some affirmational words and comments about life and believing in the future with the children and things like that. Very inspirational, you feel it. Even though she's giving you some beautiful runs, amazing agility, did you hear that? But that wasn't enough. You thought those riffs and runs agility was incredible. When she started going to the end and to sustain those notes, the power notes, resonance is on fire. That woman took off in the end. Did you hear that? Yes, that's Whitney Houston, baby. Like a siren, it just went flying up, up. That's one of the greatest to ever sing ever. It was so easy to her, no struggle, just throwing out any type of notes that she felt like it. Queen Tings. Queen Tings, so, so happy I saw that performance. I mean, I can watch her perform that song thousands of times and still be shocked every different time, every time. So, so grateful for Whitney. Rest in power to one of the greatest of all time. Love Whitney forever. Any requests, let me know. Otherwise, like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all be safe. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.